Hey everybody, happy Monday. Are you ready for day nine of my 12 days of Facebook Live? <laughs> 12 days of Christmas Facebook Live. Did I get it right this time? I'm very excited. We're on the the end, the back end of this. I can't believe it. It's gone by really, really fast. I've got three more days worth of projects to show you and I've got lots of things to tell you today. So let me see. It is it might be crazy. Charlie is sitting right here on the floor. Usually I like to put him away so that he doesn't interrupt us, but he's right here. <laughs> Hopefully he'll keep sleeping. Um, Pepper is running around. My daughter's going to come in the door in a minute. It is what it is, right? Who cares? We're just going to, we're just going to stay up and not care. Hopefully my dogs don't set off your dogs or your cats or whatever. Okay. Let me get this opened up and so that I can see you. I don't want to hear my voice. Hello. Good. Belinda, Jessica, Deborah, Yvonne. Good to see you guys. Okay. So today is day nine. If you haven't looked at the schedule, I, I totally even forgot to post to tell you the truth. We got back in town yesterday afternoon and my mind started just spinning of all the things that I needed to do. There were emails that I was supposed to send this weekend to my team. There were things I was supposed to type in the car. Didn't happen. So I feel like since I got home yesterday, I've just been like spinning my wheels, like trying to get things done, which is ridiculous because I have plenty of time. Do you guys do that? I just start to panic when I know that I have things hanging over my head. I've always been like that. Anyhow, the schedule of this is changing just a tad. Actually, not the schedule, what I'm using, okay? So today, we've got three days left. Warm and toasty today. Tomorrow is going to be uh, most wonderful time of the year, okay? Remember, I had that up at the beginning, right? I had that up at the beginning somewhere, and then I realized I didn't have it, but I ordered it, and now I have it, and we're gonna do it tomorrow. And then we're gonna finish off Wednesday with a heartwarming hugs bundle, okay? So that's just a little tiny change. It'll still be two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, okay? Nancy, I agree, never enough time this year. And my daughter's birthday is this week. So that, I feel like a birthday always kind of, kind of upends everything. And to have um, a birthday around Christmas, <laughs> one of the things I panicked about yesterday is I realized um, I, I've bought her presents, but really they're birthday presents and not Christmas presents. And so I'm kind of like panicking and like, oh my God, I hope I thought it was going to be done and I'm not. And blah. Anyhow, and here she comes. So I have to be quiet and not talk about it. But anyhow, we had a wonderful trip, you guys. We drove out to West Texas to go to Big Bend National Park. That's what she requested for her birthday. And um, it totally snowed while we were there. Um, we saw that there was a chance of snow on, um, Friday night, but I thought, mm, you know, whatever. We woke up to a ton of snow and not just, you know, a snow flurry. It was sticking. We think that we got about four to five inches of snow there. And so my kids being from South Texas, we don't ever do snow. My daughter's boyfriend had never seen snow except for the little bits we've had here. So we just hung around the house that morning and let them build a snowman and throw snowballs. And it was totally fun. So it was a great trip. Um, Big Ben was awesome. Uh, unfortunately, day two, um, it was super, super cold and windy. Um, it didn't snow in the park. We were actually staying about an hour north of the park. So uh, once we got in the car and started driving towards the park, there was no snow at all. Um, but we got there, it was windy and cold. And my <laughs> husband, in the um, shenanigans of the snow, slipped. I'm not supposed to say, because he's embarrassed. Slipped and really hurt himself. He hit his head, he hurt his knee, he hurt his ankle. And so there was no hiking for us that day. We did a couple of short little hikes and we kind of left him <laughs> at the middle of one hike so we could climb up. But um, other than that, it was great. Um, it was kind of, you know, if you go to the national parks, you can see a lot just driving through the parks. We did that. We drove and um, they always have a few things that you can go see that are um, easy and some of them are even paved. Um, so if you haven't ever visited a national park, I highly recommend it. Um, that's our fifth national park and um, we're already planning our next one. We're very excited. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys around um, and show you some things 
and then we will start stamping okay hi guys i'm so glad to see you i'm so glad you're here let me mount this phone real quick so um over the weekend while i was traveling actually um, Stampin' Up! announced that there's this giant sale coming tomorrow. I'm going to move all of that. So tonight, I'm going to email out information on this. It's actually the retired list. Everything from our holiday catalog that is retiring. Let me pull it out. So it's not stuff from the big catalog. It's stuff from this catalog. Um, the list, the, the retired list... Um, are things that are going to be gone when this catalog ends, which is what, January 3rd? Let me make sure I tell you the right, January 4th, okay? So some, I would say 95% of what's in here is retiring. Um, then there is a small percentage that will be in next year's holiday catalog, and a tiny bit of it will be in the annual catalog that comes out in the summer. So there's a little bit that carries over, not a whole lot this year. Um, the, you can see you've got two little short carryover lists, that's it. Um, so that means that almost everything else in here is retiring. And this PDF shows that tomorrow, a lot of it's gonna be on sale, 50% off, 30% off, 20% off. I was really um, wowed by the discount, 50% off. You guys, there's some things in here that we've used um, that is going to be on sale. Uh, Wonder of the Season, which we're doing tomorrow. Some of that's going on sale. So um, stay tuned for this. It starts tomorrow and it goes until, you know, January 4th. Of course, the things that are deeply discounted will sell out fast. So you're going to want to look through it early and make your list and decide what you want um, and make a plan. I will email this out this evening so you can start looking and making a plan in case you want to get up early and put in that order um, early. Now, here, things are kind of confusing with my Facebook Lives. Um, this host code goes through today at the end of today, okay? So this host code is tied to these three projects. If you put in an order last week, all the way through this week, using this host code, well actually, when was it? Tuesday through today, using this host code, I'm gonna send you these three make and takes this week. These are make and takes from last week. Today's make and takes, one from today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, will go to tomorrow's host code. That host code will be brand new. You'll see it tomorrow. And I will also send it in an email and put it on my Facebook group. If you use that host code with your order starting tomorrow um, through next Monday, I will send you three make and takes to go with that order. Okay. And yes, you can order all the discount stuff, the closeout, whatever, as long as it uses the host code and the $35 minimum, then you'll get a package of make and takes that look like this. So orders up till today, get these three. I would kind of have some overlap today because today's project, one of them will be for orders put in starting tomorrow. Okay, so these three go with this host code. New host code starts tomorrow, um, which will be from Tuesday to Monday. Okay, Tuesday tomorrow till Monday at midnight. Clear as mud. I know it's a little bit confusing. I'm gonna type it all out and hopefully it'll all make sense. Okay. This is what your make and takes look like when they come. Um, they come like this. I do most of the work for you. You have to have the dies and the stamp sets that I feature. Usually it's just one, but because we're doing 12 days, it'll be three different stamp and die sets. Um, you'll need ink and adhesive. I don't do any stamping. You have to do all the stamping yourself. I also usually don't do any embossing. You'll need to use your own embossing folders, okay? Um, what else? You'll need adhesive, ink, and the stamps and dies, that's it. And like if it's like a circle die or a die that I'm not featuring, then I will include that in there as well. Okay, I cut those the very first thing Tuesday morning. Um, I get up, I open the order list and I start cutting um, Tuesday morning. So your order has to be in my Monday at midnight. Um, tonight, I believe that the sale starts tonight, Monday or uh, midnight mountain time. Um, not a hundred percent sure on that. There is a little bit of confusion with that, but I believe it's midnight mountain. I would assume starts tonight. Maybe it might be more like two or three. Sometimes they don't start it until two or three in the morning. 
So if you are a diehard and you want to stay up, I cannot guarantee you. I will try to find out and post it on our Facebook group so that you know, okay? Hi, Bobby. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. All right, let me remind you of a few things. The All-Star Artistry Blooms tutorial bundle. We did a blog hop on Friday. Make sure you hop back and check that out and hop through all the designers. We have, not only do we have the PDF that has 12 projects, 12 video tutorials featuring the Artist Artistry Blooms bundle, but each of our blogs has an additional project using it. So that's a lot of ideas and inspiration for the Artistry Blooms. You can get this by spending $50 or more with me online. I'm going to mail this out this afternoon to everybody who has ordered this month already. Um, this is also available as a subscription. This is the last month of this round, and it'll start again in... Um, What's next month? January, which I will start advertising and talking to you about towards the end of the month. When you, um, if you don't earn these by shopping with me, I send them to you for free. But if you, maybe you're a demonstrator or you have your own demonstrator, um, but you want the PDFs, you can actually subscribe and get, um, the six month for free. You pay for five and get the six month for free. They're also available in my PDF store. Always $15 in my PDF store. Okay. Hello, Carol, we had a great weekend. Thank you so much for asking. My kids got to play in the snow, which is very, very unusual for Texas. Okay, so here's the calendar class. I'm gonna start slowly working on this. It's gonna take a lot of work, but I'm gonna start slowly die cutting and working on this over the next week and a half. Um, the deadline is next Monday. So if you want this menagerie mix-up class to go, um, make sure you register. Um, I'm trying to order every few days so that in case anything goes on back order or um, sells out with the, the closeout list that comes out tomorrow, I will have everything. But I may, if for some reason that happens, I will maybe have to close registration um, because I won't be able to order the products anymore. But rest assured, if you've already ordered, I have already ordered your products and you won't need to worry. Okay, so details of that, I will update the post here on Facebook and on YouTube with the links um, to the information. Remember, I have to email you this registration, which tonight when I email out about the sale, I will include a link, a registration link for this class if you do want to register for that. Okie dokie, let me move this over here. Okay, we are almost to the end. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something, but I'm not sure. Today we're gonna to do warm and toasty. Um, I have another class that I did earlier in November um, that features the same stamp set. This bow fell off somewhere, right there. And if you love the warm and toasty stamp set, um, I have a whole other PDF for you if you want more ideas. Um, this was my stamp a stack class that um, was in my retreat and um, Anyhow, I've linked that on today's blog. The details for today's project, the measurements and everything that you need are over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, I will update the link here again with a direct link for you um, when I'm done so you can hop over there, okay? All right, before we get started, how about a prize? Prizes. I chose two people at random from last week and Mary Berkland. She said she wanted the new I had the question I asked was what do you want for Christmas and she said she wanted the new Carrie Underwood Christmas album which Mary I have to agree I saw Carrie Underwood on the Today Show last week and she's so beautiful and her, her voice is so beautiful so that would make an awesome gift and then Brenda Jack um she wants to go to Florida to be with her family for Christmas Brenda I hope that 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 can happen for you I don't know what your situation is but I know it's frustrating. My wish, my, what I want for Christmas is for COVID to disappear. How about you guys? <laughs> Can we all just collectively agree that that's what we want for Christmas and then we won't have to deal with it anymore. Hi Gail. It's good to see you. Hi Cynthia. Um, okay. So Brenda, I have your mailing address. Mary, I don't think I have yours and you probably can't read my handwriting. Mary Brooklyn. Uh, you'll, you'll know if it's you. Email me. Hey, and guys, I forgot to mention that I can only send these in the United States. Per stamping up policy, I cannot send product outside the United States. So sorry to all my Canadian friends and European and Australian friends. It has to be in the United States. I'm sorry. 
Um, but anyway, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, click uh, about two thirds down on the way on my blog, you'll see the entry for today. And what did I ask today? I can't even remember what the question was. Um, maybe I asked your favorite Christmas song. I think that's what I'm asking today. I suddenly cannot remember. Anyhow, look, I have two bundles. This week, the prizes are going to be even better because I've got to clean out my prize cabinet before the end of the season. So I will give it away, give away one Sound of the Seasons dies and one Celebration Labels uh, bundle. Sound of the Season bundle, Celebration Tidings bundle um, to two people tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Jessica. Favorite song, Patty. Yes, y'all are reminding me. Favorite song. You know, I just, do you guys do that? You just completely draw a blank like oh I cannot remember I do that a lot okay so let's get started warm and toasty this stamp set does not have dies to be honest I get this one confused with the other one freeze and friends and that one does have dies but this one does not um, so that makes it affordable if you just want the stamp set because there are no dies um, so that means you have to fussy cut <laughs> or not cut out at all just a heads up, we're gonna fussy cut one and not the other, all right? All right, let's start with this one, the little polar bear, he's so, so cute. And I am once again, let's see, which tray do I need? I am once again using my one of my favorite color combinations, which is Midnight Muse and um, Seaside Spray. I love that color, and I'm using this designer series paper, which is from the, oh, um, Trimming the Town designer series paper. The supply list is over on my blog. I usually have that PDF and I haven't typed that up since we've been doing this and I am lost without it. I need to type those up for my own, my own sanity. All right, so we're gonna make this little bag and <laughs> Donna Fussy Cuts. Donna, I was wondering, every time I say Fussy Cut, I think of you. He's easy, come on, Donna, he's easy. You can do it. You could just make him on a circle too, right? You could do that. Okay, you're going to start off with, where are my notes, a piece of Midnight Muse that is five and a half by 11, and we're going to score the long side at one and a half, five, six and a half, and ten, and then turn the short side and score it at one and a half. Okay, and let's see, we are going to burnish all these lines and then we're going to stamp him all over all over the front let me grab him and midnight news <laughs> tina says never met an oval die i didn't love more than fuzzy cutting that is too funny tina you you know i get it you either hate it or you love it i find um fussy cutting to be relaxing and um, I enjoy doing it. Sometimes, honestly, if I'm having to mass produce something and it has a die, I might even just fussy cut them all out in front of the TV because I enjoy doing that more than using a die on a whole bunch <laughs> of, of um, you know, of images. So to each his own, I need a little scrap piece of paper. Let's see, we'll use this right here for this edge. To each his own. Okay, so there we've got him. We're also gonna stamp him in Midnight Muse on Whisper White. Make sure I've got the right piece here, yeah. Okay, all right. Now let's come over here for this super easy bag. Oh, Midnight Muse, what did I call it, Louisa? You're right. <laughs> Midnight Muse is an old color. It's Misty Moonlight. Oh my gosh, and they were very similar. You are exactly right. Midnight Muse is an old color. This is Misty Moonlight and Seaside Spray. Oh, goodness. It's going to be that kind of day. It's a Monday. All right, so I cut out um, one of the squares in the corner. It doesn't, it actually does matter because this one is shorter or skinnier than this one. So cut off the square on the end, the last score line that you did. Yes, the last score line that you did because this is an inch and a half and this is just an inch, okay? Now get your adhesive. And I have three of these over here and I have a feeling they're all, they're all empty. 
Let's see if I can get enough adhesive out of this one. All right, so I'm gonna put Stamp and Seal Plus on that tab and fold it over, okay? It should be a perfect match when you fold it over. Now, fold in the sides and the bottom, and I'm just gonna put adhesive, whoops, I've got a cling on. I'm just going to put adhesive on the front bottom flap and fold it over. That way we have nice rounded edges on all three. And you can put your candy in there. Let's see, do I have my candy in here? Nope. I had to get it out of here. Do I have any candy in here? I do. Okay, let me grab this. I had to get that bag of candy out of here because I have zero self-control. Here are the white chocolate sugar cookie Ghirardelli's. <sighs> Yummo. We'll put those in there. You can put anything in here, anything you want. Now I've got a piece of Trimming the Town Designer Series paper, two by 12. And I was having trouble with my punch earlier. And let's see if it's gonna behave. There we go. <laughs> just gotta put a little elbow grease in it, you guys, that's it. Okay, now I'm just gonna fold that in half, give myself a little, little idea where the middle is. Put some adhesive there. Put that there like that. And then I'm gonna fold it up and over. And we're gonna pinch those together like that. All right, whoops. It's not even, Erica. Try it again. There we go, okay. Now I will push it down. All right, we have some really good basic white cotton ribbon. This is in the Flowers for Every Season ribbon pack. I get this one and the, the um, What's the other one? Forever Fern ribbon pack because one is Whisper White and one is Very Vanilla. And this is the one that goes with the flower for every season. All right, so we've got that and I'm gonna pinch that in just a little bit so that will stand up like that. All right, really just so simple and easy. Okay, and you know, if you needed it to be taller, you could make your card stock. You could leave it at eight and a half instead of cutting it down. Okay, okay, now let's come back to this guy and let me grab Petal Pink. Petal Pink Stampin' Blends are on back order right now, and I love to use them for their little cheeks, for their little rosy cheeks. All right, I'm gonna take, let's see, did I use. No, I think we're going to use Seaside Spray because I think it's too moonlight. <laughs> it's going to be too dark. Let's see. Yeah. All right. We're going to take Misty Moonlight. No, Seaside Spray. Seaside Spray. I can color it in. I need, I need to make um, cue cards for myself, don't I? So that I can remember what the heck I'm talking about. All right. Cut him out. He's so cute. He's so happy. There's a lot of samples using this set. If you have it or you're gonna buy it and you want more ideas even than what I'm giving you, go to Pinterest, go to Google. You will find lots of awesome ideas. The cuter the stamp set, the more ideas you'll find online. All right, I added a little Wink of Stella there to his hat. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. All right. Now here we go, fussy cutting. I'm gonna go all the way around him using my tiniest pair of sharp scissors, which are my paper snips. And I'm just gonna stay on the outside of him, leaving a little white cloud all around him. You also wanna make sure that you're turning your paper with your left hand. Okay. I hope all of you had a great weekend getting Christmas things done, I'm sure. I have done a lot of, well, I've done all online shopping, but I'm worried about the shipping. They're saying the shipping this year is just gonna be a nightmare, even Amazon, which is where most of my things come. And you know, when your kids get older, they know how to check the Amazon account and they know how to find what you've bought them. It's very annoying. 
but you can archive your orders, you guys. If you have a if you have a smart kid like mine who's going to go in the Amazon and see what you've ordered, you can archive your orders. You can still find them, but it's harder. Um, and if they go in to find them in archival, well, then too bad for them. They just won't be surprised. Also, <laughs> my youngest, she likes to say, and I don't want to say her name because she's in here, but Alexa. And then she'll say, what are my notifications? And Alexa will tell her, um, such and such has arrived or such and such was delivered. But, and I told her to stop doing that because, <laughs> you know, hello, you're going to know what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, real quick, I'm stamping the warm and toasty. Over here on the right side of a one and a half by three and a half piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to cut it out with the curvy dies, this one right here, to make it look like a snow edge. Let's see, where's my mini? The mini cut and emboss machine is so cute. I've had a few people join my team this last week, and I think it's because... They want the mini cut and emboss. You guys, you can get it if you buy the starter kit. You can. Anyhow, she told me, Addie told me, that right now if you ask Alexa, oh, I just said her name. She's probably going to say something. If you ask her what's been delivered, whoops, hello, get this on right, Erica. If you ask her what's been delivered, she'll say, I'm sorry, it's too close to Christmas. Why is this not going through? I'm sorry, it's too close to Christmas. I cannot answer that. <laughs> so I guess they've set it up because her account is a kid account, you know? And we have, we have, they each have one in their room so that I can use it as an intercom. Do you guys remember back in the day when we'd have intercoms in our house and you, they'd be on the wall and you'd push the button and you'd call the other room? Well, that's our modern day um, intercom. It's brilliant. But anyways, it's also not brilliant when your kids are tech savvy and they say, hey, hmm, what did my mom order me for Christmas? Luckily, I'm guessing it's because she is set up as a kid's account that she told her, too bad, so sad, Chica. It's too close to Christmas and I'm not telling you what's being delivered. Ha ha. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it on here with a dimensional like that. And I'm using my foam adhesive sheets for this just because they're convenient and they're there and I'm going to put my uh oh did I make it too long I'm going to put my bear right there my bear right there I made a rhyme all right and that's it how cute easy peasy um fill it with whatever candy cookies if you make homemade goods put them in a, in a cello or a um a cello or a Ziploc bag before we put it in there. Um, Donna says she used to uh, unwrap her gifts and then rewrap them. And Diana says, we told our kids if they snooped and found their gifts, we'd return them and they wouldn't get any. So funny. You know, um, on my Facebook memories last week, it said it was 10 years ago when my kids were little. And I said something like, I told, I was wrapping presents in the garage and I, I, you know, store all the presents that come in the garage. And I said, don't go in the garage, there's a snake. And my oldest said, it's funny how there's always a snake right before Christmas in the garage. <laughs> so she was on to me, even back then. Um, I saw something really funny that said, wrap empty boxes and put them under the tree. And then if your kid acts up, grab one and throw it into the fire and tell them every time they misbehave, you're throwing, throwing their one of their presents in the fire. <laughs> I could never do that, but it made me laugh. It was really funny. I think it was pretty darn funny. Okay, let me move this over. I, I can't even imagine. One year, my middle child was very naughty, her and the youngest, and the elf on the shelf wrote on their photo frame that they had been naughty with a Sharpie, or not a Sharpie, but, you know, dry erase marker, and she cried for, like, two days. <laughs> so I learned I can't be. They can't. They, my kids don't take... They, they don't take that very well. They don't do that. They don't do well with that kind of, you know, silliness. Okay. Um, so you don't know, you know, I was not a snooper either. I n would never want to know what I was getting, um, for Christmas ever like that. I mean, it ruins Christmas. I want it to be surprised. So I'm not real good at hiding the presents when they come, 
just because in my mind, I would, why would they, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. Why would they snoop? But I'm sure they have. I'm sure one of, at least one of them, the youngest, I'm sure she probably has. But, you know, you ruin your own Christmas. Sorry, friend. <laughs> okay, we're going to make a shaker. We're going to make a shaker with this one. And funny enough, I don't have any of our snowflake sequins. I don't, I don't know why I don't have any of them. So I pulled out right here, the whale of a time sequence and I love the color. And so I, in a minute, I'll show you, I just pick out the seashell, the little peak seashell ones, and then it totally works with those. I colored him first. I'm thinking maybe, you know what? I think maybe I'll change the color because I don't like that pop of poppy puree. Let's do Let's do a cocoa rose this time. Okay, so I have already done the die cutting. Um, I have used my largest stitched square and I cut out a whisper white square. Then I took the next size stitched square and cut out a window from the inside. I cut out again with a larger one, a window sheet. Okay, which we sell these window sheets. I always have get people asking where I get this. It, we sell this, it's in our annual catalog. Okay, so I'm gonna take the window sheet because it's gonna need a little bit of time to dry. And let's see if this is unclogged. Yep, I'm gonna adhere the window sheet. Maybe. Maybe, 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 all the way around. I'm gonna adhere it to the, the frame, okay? So we'll set that aside. Now, here's this, I don't, we don't need this. You can save it for later. That's what I cut out of that one. Use it for something else. I'm gonna stamp my little caroling rabbits right in the middle in memento and then that didn't stamp very well let's try that again i think i need to ink up this this um memento okay that's a little bit better and it doesn't um I'm reading us comments. I it doesn't um, require a whole lot of coloring. This one I am gonna color the sleigh, the sled, sleigh. What is it? Is it a sled or a sleigh? I think it's a sleigh. I'm gonna color it in light. Um, what is this? Seaside spray? Not midnight muse. It is seaside spray. <laughs> I'm gonna do a light coat and then I'm gonna take the dark and I'm gonna go under the edge here and all the way around the outside edge and under like that, create a shadow, take my light and done. Now let's take the dark and color that in like that. Okay, did I use this anywhere else? I did not. But we're gonna use Petal Pink for their little rosy cheeks and their ears. Speaking of rabbits, we get our 4-H rabbits this weekend. I'm not excited. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys, but we actually, we had two pet rabbits and they both died. One died in April and one just died while we were in Colorado um, in October, which was super sad. And my daughter, had a horrible time with it. And I'm not looking forward to getting these rabbits. And then she has to give them back. You know, she has to give them up at the end of January. It's been kind of nice with no rabbit drama, but oh well. She'll have them for, I don't know, it was about six weeks. And then she takes them to show. Okay, so now seaside spray we're going to do these cute little snowflakes hi karen of course better late than never all the way around the little bunnies are so cute when they come we get californians and they're white they do have red eyes which freaked me out when we first got them but they're so cute you forget about the 
freaky red eyes. And I only have one daughter raising rabbits this year. The other two were like, no thank you, we're done. It's a lot of work and it's messy. It's very messy. So we're down to one kid. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys, usually what I do with my shakers is I pour the, um, I pour the sequins on the thing and then I flip it over. I saw somebody somewhere do this differently. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. All right, this is our foam adhesive strips, not to be confused with our foam adhesive sheets. And I'm actually gonna cut them. And you just wanna make sure that they are all connected so that your sequins do not come flying out because you know it's gonna get shaken or shook a lot. So you want to make sure that they are secured. Okay, now let's see how long I need this one to be. Right about there. Luckily, these are pretty big. If it's glitter, you really have to make sure those ends meet. But, um, these are um, big, so I think that little that little hole will be okay. All right, now I'm going to leave the sticky on that one. And I'm going to take off the sticky on three sides. Okay. I don't know where I saw this recently when somebody made it like this, and I was like, oh, that's so much easier. All right, I've got some fuzz. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Make sure I've got that. Okay. There. Now, if you're like me and you don't have the snowflakes, you improvise, which is what I'm doing. These are the well of, time, well of a time sequins. And I'm gonna take my putty and I'm just gonna pick out real quick these seashells. It really isn't as tedious as you might think. Although I have quite a few in here now. They're gonna they're gonna really start being very concentrated in here if I keep removing them and putting them back in. I mean, I guess you could leave them in if you wanted. Um, but you know, I know that I had snowflake sequins, and I hardly ever use something completely up other than adhesive. So I don't know what happened. All right, so get the rest of these out. A few more. I can hear some of you saying, I can't believe she's picking those sequins out of there. That's so tedious. I can hear you, but you know what? I don't mind. If you think it's too tedious, then don't do it. Use something else. <laughs> you didn't think I could hear you, did you? But I can. Okay, so we've got them all. Oh no, there's one more. One more. There we go. Hello, Teresa from Oregon. I'm glad you joined me. Okay, now, remember that I left that there. Let me stick that down so they don't fall at the bottom. Okay, that one, I haven't peeled the adhesive. So I'm just gonna take these and pour them in like that. And then take your either your scissors or your take your pick tool and you're gonna peel off that adhesive, maybe. Come on, don't make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. All right, and then you just press it down. And there they are. I mean, I don't know. I think that's kind of easier than the way I was doing it before. All right, easy. And you know what, I just, I remembered, I did not list the adhesive, foam adhesive strips on the supply list. But they are in our adhesive section, foam adhesive strips, and they look like that. Tweezers would work great too, Jessica. You know, I don't have a pair of tweezers in here and I really do need to get one. I, I um, need tweezers a lot. I have tweezers in my car, <laughs> but I don't have tweezers in my craft space. I don't know why. Okay, now let's put this card together. I am going to emboss using the snowflake embossing folder. So many snowflakes. What's it called? I think that's the name of the dies. 
so many snowflakes. I can't remember. And let's see, is this a 3D? No, it is not a 3D embossing folder. So we just are gonna take out plate two and we're gonna emboss um, a piece of Seaside Spray on this in here. <laughs> Pluck sequins, not eyebrows. Tina, I like plucking eyebrows. I know that sounds super duper weird, but I like it. That's why I have tweezers in my car. I know I'm not the only one that has tweezers in your car. The lighting is the very best in the car. It really is. So if you keep a pair of tweezers in your car and you're ever just sitting somewhere, you just flip down your mirror, check things out, and you'll be amazed at what you can see <laughs> in your mirror. I know I'm not the only one because a girlfriend of mine, we laughed one time because she had a pair of tweezers in her car too. Okay, so there it is. Isn't that pretty? It's very subtle. I like it. Seaside Spray on, what's it called? Misty Moonlight cardstock. And then I have a piece of the DSP, the Misty Moonlight Designer Series paper from the 2020 to 2022 in color DSP pack. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna put this guy on here. We're gonna put him with Stamp and Seal Plus because he's heavy. We don't want him to go flying off, okay? There we go. Now I have cut out two snowflakes. Um, Alyssa, you, okay. Oh, look, see, I'm not alone. Look, yeah, right, Denise, you didn't know you're gonna get health and beauty tips when you come to my Facebook Lives. I'm not alone. Jessica has some in her car. Alyssa has some in her purse. And I will tell you this weekend, my daughter's boyfriend ran into a cactus and had cactus needles all in his leg. And lo and behold, I had tweezers in my car. Mm -hmm. See, you just never know. You never know. It's not just for eyebrows or, or chin hairs. I don't know. I don't know about you, but there may be a stray chin hair you might find. I don't know. I would recommend you picking up a pair for your car. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Monday. Okay, I'm using a Misty Moonlight bow. So there's the front of our card. No sentiment. No sentiment. Because we're going to do the sentiment on the inside, okay? Thanks, Nina. I'm glad you like it. We're going to stamp a few snowflakes around town here on a piece of Whisper White. And then we'll just take the sentiment... And I know I'm going to stamp this crooked. It's a little bit crooked. My sticker is on crooked. It'll do. That'll do. And we will put this inside of our card. And done. Cute. I love shaker cards. I think shaker cards are really popular. I think they have big wow factor when you give them to people. And so I think you should give it a try. And look, Donna, no fussy cutting on this project. I know, I made one with fussy cutting and one without. Okay, so let me review. The host code today does not include today's project. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. This host code is for last week up until today. And this host code will earn you, where did I put them? These three projects. So if you want these three projects, put in your order by midnight tonight using this code. If you want one of these projects as well as one from tomorrow and Wednesday, wait to put in your order till tomorrow. And there will be a new host code that I'm sending out in my email and I'll put here on Facebook um, because there's going to be a big sale starting tomorrow. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? I feel like there was something else. I don't know, make sure you're on my email list. Um, if you go over to my blog, let me show you where that is because sometimes people get confused. And I will put the link up here on the video if you're watching in the replay. But let me show you guys, those of you that are here. If you go over to Pink Buckaroo, you have to look at the desktop version. If you're looking on the phone, it's gonna show you, let me show you. Will it give me that option? No, it doesn't. But if you look at your phone, it's a different view. And if you scroll to the bottom, it'll say desktop view. You wanna click that. So then it will look like this, how it looks on your computer. 
Um, and right over here where it says newsletter, that's the one you need to click, this one. This right here, follow on Feedly, is just if you wanna get my blog post in your email. And blog Blog11, I don't even know if that's still around. Subscribe and a reader, blogger is not around, I need to remove that, so don't do that. My newsletter, my emails that I send out is this one right here, newsletter. Um, that's separate from blog posts, and then you fill out your information. If you want every time I post on my blog to end up in your email, then you do one of these. Feedly, I think, is the best one, okay? So if you want tonight's email about the sale, make sure you have subscribed right here to my newsletter. Okie dokie, does that make sense? Okay, we're done today. I will be back tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we're two o'clock, but we will be doing, no, not these. We will be doing um, Wonder, um, oh, I forgot the name already. Wonder of the Season, is that what it's called? Anyhow, I've got a cute double hinge box for you that holds the Elf on the Shelf cake bites and a card. So you don't want to miss it tomorrow, two o'clock central right here on Facebook. Okay. All right, you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Bye.